and welcome to Refine Co. By now, you've most likely seen our newest preset and profile collection, Refine 2. Refine 2 is one of our most anticipated preset collections to date, and because of that, we have dubbed it the People's Preset. It is built solely on the feedback and request of our longtime users of Refine 1. So what is the difference about Refine 2 in comparison to Refine 1? Why didn't we just update Refine 1? Today, I'm here to answer those questions and show you the differences and why we believe both pre presets deserve their own spotlight. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a, a great collection of images from our users, uh, and I will be sure to tag them all below in the comments of this or description of this video. Um, Refined One is here, and just a quick explanation: Refined One is our was our cleanest preset collection. It is the root preset collection of the Refine Co. company, but it is derived off of uh, film scans. So it is actually based off of my film scans. I'm Barta Locklear, and um, I prefer a very clean film, film scan, but it is still Fuji 400 film. And this has those same nuances. So we'll see that as we go into the editing and I'll show you the comparisons. Um, it has a little bit of color shift in the shadows, that nice cyan, Fuji film, kind of green blue tone in the shadows, a little bit of a creamier highlight, um, but still very clean in the span of film scans. Uh, it's just how I preferred my work, uh, mainly because I did a lot of commercial and stock photography as well and needed that in my film. So Refine 2 is built very similar, and this is why people are like, why didn't you just update it? Um, this is has no color shift, so you'll see the highlights are clean, the black points are clean, uh, there's no color shift in the shadows, there's no color shift in the highlights, uh, but has very similar nuances. I didn't shift the the uh, hue sliders at all, um, or very little, I should say. There is a slight adjustments there, uh, but it just has a lot less color shift, nice, clean, very true to color, um, built very similar. You can see when I open them, it has very similar. We These are the film tones we added to Refine 1. Uh, we don't have those in Refine 2, but instead we've added some new um, tools to kind of balance that out. And we also have these great vibrance um, options as well because people were asking for more color, more true to life color, and we wanted to give you guys that. So let's just go ahead and go into editing. I think that would give you a better look at the differences between the two. I'm just going to go ahead and start with this image here. Let's give a little bit of a white balance adjust so they're even. Try to get it as close to neutral as possible. So the same on both sides. I'll just click refine one. I'm going to go ahead and pop this over to the left. So we'll have refine one on the left and I'll undo preset. So the white balance is still the same. And here's refine two. So off the bat, most people, the average viewer might be like, I don't see it. Big differences if you're looking for color, um, especially in um, your white points. This is very true. You notice that it was a very cool image. I would maybe warm this up slightly. You can see right here in the shadow tones, this is more true to color. This has a little bit of color shift in it. Uh, we also see it in these greens here. Um, so this one just to me obviously feels a little more film. It has a slight filmy color shifts to it. Still a very clean edit. It's very straightforward. You wouldn't look at it and say overall that it wasn't a clean edit. Um, but this is very true to color, uh, and you can see there's just no color shift in the shadows. And I think the place that people really felt like they needed something different was when you're dealing with skin tones, hairlines, hair color, etc. Um, and for those that really wanted that very straightforward, true to color, that's why we built Refine too. And you can see the colors are slightly a little more vibrant. I haven't added any extra vibrancy to the main preset, but we did give you an option to add two levels of vibrancy to the preset. Um, and for those of you that are using the new Canon um, R series, you know, that struggled with flatter images or desaturated images, uh, Refine 2 really helps with that. We're seeing a lot of cut through and I have some CR3 images in here. There's one there. Um, so there's a few. So I'll be able to show you just how well it does on this as well. Um, and then, of course, you have all the different tools. I'm really not going to go into that. 
but I wanted to show you the color differences because honestly, that is the main difference between the two collections. And I wanted to show you how they translate on all the different skin tones and lighting situations. So again, let's just go ahead and kind of get this at a good starting point and compare the two. So refine one, let's pop this over to the left. And I'm just doing a one click right now, except for white balance and a little bit of exposure. Undo preset, white balance is still the same, and we're fine too. So here you can see definitely in the black point the biggest difference there. A little more depth um, and a very clean. You can see this definitely has a little bit of that kind of green. People were saying they kept seeing green. Um, it's actually cyan that's added to it, but when you balance that with yellow or warm skin, it makes green. Um, so you can see that right in here, and that was one of the things that people that are not film shooters would see and think that it was bad, um, but this is definitely the types of tones you are going to find in a Fuji 400 film um, scan. But for those that don't like film or and or don't know film very well, you know, this might seem green to them. Um, and then here you can see it's just very clean. Uh, the edit itself is very similar, so there's not a lot of differences there. Other than the color shift, we did keep this black point a little lower, and it's a nice clean. Um, and we did brighten up the pinks a little bit as well, just to kind of really work with that. I'm trying to scroll down. And you can see it here, just in the whites. Very clean white, um, just how it was shot in the room. And this one just has a little bit of that kind of yellow green that people were seeing. Again, it's cyan, um, but mixing in with the normal tones of the image, it does come across slightly green. And that was what people were asking us to do away with. Um, flowers look very similar. You can tell I don't have a lot of color shift here. Let me zoom in if my computer wants to wake up this morning. Uh, you can see the blues are a little brighter. Um, we did have this desaturated a little in the preset just based on the film scans we compared to. And the pinks are a little brighter as well, which I noted a second ago. I'm not going to do all of these images, but I want to go through a variety so you guys can really get a look at uh, the differences between them. Again, just adjusting white balance. And let's do a fine one. I'm going to go ahead and pop this over to the left. And do preset and refine too. Um, and again, you can see it. I see it right away. Uh, this has definitely got that kind of warm overall filmy look to it. And this is very straight, straightforward and, um, you know, pretty true to color, I would say. Um, again, both are great edits and that's why we wanted to keep both collections because it's really a personal preference. Um, you know, I use Refine One for years and it's in all over my stock portfolio on Stocksy. And, uh, but I also love Refine Two for the, the really punchy colors. I would say it's punchy yet, but I could definitely make it punchy by just really pushing these. And, um, and I do like the new tools we added into the Refine Two collection, like the backlight, backlight plus, which was really nice for a lot of us that shoot heavy backlight all the time. Instead of going in here and adjusting, we try to make real quick um, tools for you there. And you can see, of course, you can still do the nice documentary style, uh, a little darker if you wanted, um, gray and contrast. Contrast is night for those CR3 files. I believe this is an R6. Yes, R6. Um, and as you can see, it's a beautiful image, uh, well exposed and uh, the white balance looks a little flat. Um, well, the white balance is right on, but I would say the color is a little desaturated and I'll maybe even a little flat. So let's take a look at how the presets do on that. I'm just gonna do a one click. See, we're fine one on the left. Let's undo preset and we're fine too. Now, as you can see right off the bat, the whites are a little different. Um, this is more of a crisper true white. You can see it in the dress. Both are stunning edits. Again, this looks a little more film to me. This is more straightforward and um, true to color. So pure whites, pure black points. You can see the difference in her hairline where you see a little bit of that cyan and you can definitely see the creaminess in her skin tones here. But um, both look great and are beautiful edits. And again, that's why we wanted to keep both collections because we feel like both of these are beautiful edits and it's a personal preference thing. 
Um, and then the beauty of the Refine2 collection, especially with these CR3 files, is um, being able to add in some vibrance. And you can see instantly how it brought just a little more color into her and gave that, you know, it still looks natural. It doesn't look over push color, but really kind of brought that file to life. Um, and of course you can push it even further if you like, but that's a personal preference. Sometimes you may need a little lot. That's one thing I found with these uh, R5 and R6 files is that they're not consistently the same. I want to say bad, but <laughs> they're not consistently bad. Um, some are very saturated and have great contrast and depth, and some just come across as a little desaturated and very flat. Um, so we found that Refine2 is working well with those files. So let me go ahead and skip over. I'm only going to do a couple more. Just keep this video from being too long. Um, again, let's do Refine1. And refine too. Um, here you can see a big difference in that color shift um, in his blues. So definitely very creamy, has that cyan to it, and this is that green. Um, and I'm quoting that that people say they are seeing in their files. Um, and especially those of you that shoot Sony and or Nikon, they tend to lean um, more green and yellow straight out of camera. So in comparison to Canon, which tended to run a little more magenta, um, so you're going to see even more if you haven't already adjusted your white balance. So you would have to tweak out of that a little bit. But um, this is a very strong comparison of the two and the differences in those color tones, differences in the black point, the whites, um, skin tones, etc. So that's a good look there. Um, but I hope that gives you guys a good comparison of the Refine 1 and Refine 2 collections and um, the subtle differences in them. Uh, they're slightly major, especially for those of you that do have those warmer files coming straight out of camera. It just means that you have to adjust your white balance a little more with Refine 1. Um, you would still have to do so here. You saw me tweaking as I go. But um, that gives you an idea of the, the differences and which one would be best for your uh, toolbox. And uh, thank you guys for joining me today, and thank you for being a part of the Refine Co. community.